All right, YouTube, today is the day we're painting. As you can tell, I got it pretty warm in here. Um, I'm not sure I have a way to check it. I've wiped the whole core down a few times. Um, I'm still going to hit it again with a tack rag. I think I got the gun set up. I'm about to run some fluid through it and see how it does. Um, but here we go. Woo! Heavy metallic. So that is the paint. I'm about to finish mixing it up. Um, this is a little bit more greenish uh, than my camera picks up. But still. Can't wait. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit more. And uh, painted. I'm not gonna do too much time lapse on this or anything like that. I, mean, I don't wanna kill my phone camera with overspray, but uh, I'll see what I can do, see what we can talk, see what we, see what we can film. I'm gonna get to it. All right, we're back. Get rid of that. Woo. You can see what the thing keeps out of you, <laughs> out of your nose and stuff. So, let's flip this thing around. I don't have too long. I want to start spraying the body, and I got to do that with the still keep the uh, the wet corners and stuff. Um, so let's get you flip jams under trunk, under hood. I even hit the gas tank lid which you can see is a little bit of orange pill in it but I am definitely happy for a hundred bucks <laughs> I can't complain and this is the bay the bay is coming out real good I think it's maybe a little bit less humidity up here but so I really I really like the color and I really wasn't gonna think I liked it but it definitely lightened up once I got spraying it so I definitely like the color. It is again. It is a little bit more green than it um, than it is on the camera. It's a little bit more blue on the camera. So it's, it's a till green, till green, I believe. So, but uh, I'm gonna get ready to spray the body. I'm about to open up the tack cloth now. I want to get to spraying the body before any of that dries. Um, otherwise I just have to let everything dry, sand all them areas and then spray them so I uh, can't get truck <laughs> yeah I've been having fun I uh I spilt some too, so it is, right there. it is what it is, I guess. But uh, let me get to it. Alrighty, painting video. Um, so I started, I think, about six, uh, five or six. It was still daylight. It is now midnight. Um, now it's everything that was wetting floors, tacking, cleaning, 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 tack clothing again setting up fans uh yeah i'm a mess i just took off that mask out there being on for about four hours straight uh, take a look guys so this is you know it's just a little single stage nothing too crazy but i am very happy with how it's coming out as you tell you can probably see a little bit of dust yeah there you can see a little bit of dust in that but that's fine we're You'll probably end up wet sanding the whole thing but from the rusty thing that it was to what it is now this is just quite amazing <laughs> um definitely definitely uh satisfied with it and uh this is actually still drying it actually gets a little bit smoother as it dries right now it's kind of in the dull phase so right now i could probably lay it in the coat but if i let it continue to dry it'll get back to the shininess See the trunk's already starting to dry. I've got two runs. You see a little dark spot there. I got one right there. And that's the only runs I found. Um, my paint cup did drop two drops out of like the lid on that fender, so that's going to be wet sanded out as well. Oh, yeah, they don't have too good of a light back here, but. Jams are done.
hinges, hood. So, yeah, you can kind of see. Dropped a few drops. No biggie, just a uh, wet sand amount. No biggie. But I mean, for the reflection that it has alone, I am beyond happy. It's just starting to dry up real good. This is actually just all hazy, kind of like the back still is. This is all just resprayed. It's got two good coats on it. Uh, and that's actually what it recommends is two coats. So, yes, guys, yes, finally, all this time, we have a painted vehicle. So now, all we gotta do is get all this, put back together after it dries, and then, um, obviously, I think we're going to do the case swap, the wiring. All right, I ran out of storage. Uh, so I got about another three minutes left. Um, so yeah, so it's finally, it's finally painted. So as I was saying, we'll get the swap, get the wiring, get everything running. Um, and then we'll go into putting the interior back in. Uh, we could probably put like the back of the interior in, I, I don't know, but we'll see. No biggie. I'm just gonna let this thing dry overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and close this side. I'm probably gonna leave this side open. Um, yeah, I used what I had, guys. Today is January 1st of 2022. I guess now, technically speaking, it's January 2nd of 2022. But it's finally done. See some dust starting to get on the roof there. Hopefully it's good and dry. But if not, again, we're going to wet sand this whole car. Very, very pleased. You know, it can't be perfect with this garage atmosphere, I guess. Um, you know, no matter how much I dusted up there and... I even took a rag and wiped down all the rails, the springs. So, yeah, that's it. Now, a lot of you might be going, oh my God, he just sprayed the wheels and tires. These are just spares to roll on and paint and yada yada. I had cared nothing about these wheels. I've got two more sets out back. I have no issue scrapping them. It's all the tires on them are pretty much ruined besides that one's okay-ish. Um, so, again, we're not worried about those. But yeah. Very, very, very pleased with this color. I'm really pleased with it on camera. It's the perfect blue that I wanted, but it's a little bit more green. Um, I don't know if I can change the settings to show you guys the green. Um, maybe the box. Mm -mm. So we got that sewed up. I want to put all this back up. We have a little bit left here, but um, can't use it really. I think it's got a three hour life um, sitting here. I'm throwing away the cup anyways. I don't really reuse the cups. I know a lot of people do. I could care less. Um, let's get this back on or in the morning that'd be gone. So that's that. Tomorrow I got a lot of cleaning up as you can see. <laughs> uh, hopefully it didn't stick too well with um, none of it being, I guess, prepped per se. A lot of, lot of overspray. Bumper came out good. It is. So now I've got to decide if I want to do I got, I got the lip. So I got to decide if I want to paint the lip. I think I'm going to paint match the lip. Obviously I have the stuff to do so. And also as I painted the car, I found one dent that it didn't show up when blocking right over there. Yeah, you can kind of see it now. So I'm just like, God dang it. But I'm not about to do the whole thing just for that one little dent. The hood's not perfect. It's got this little ding here. I meant to fix that, but I guess I forgot. Um... Now the hood is perfect compared to from the crushed wrinkle area that was there. So, at least what I touched looks good. <laughs> um, but like down the road I can I can always repair it. This is race car, single stage. So, with that being that, I'm going to end this video here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. We might touch up tomorrow when we unpill it. And maybe put on some body panels further than that. I'm going to bed, y'all.
Hey YouTube, so it's a continuation of the painting the civet, as you can tell. It's back together for the most part. Have the tail lights on there and the fill of the panel and the plugged up. Um, I do have to still technically screw the bulbs into that, but no biggie. The centers are plugged up. And again, I do not care about these wheels. So I'm going to do some back to black for a lot of this trim. Definitely need to get rid of that tent or whatever that was. Um, and here, we still need to do the conversion harness. We still need to do the interior, but I don't really want to do that until I have the uh, wiring, I guess, done and where I can start the car, make sure there's nothing wrong with the car. Um, but we'll see, I could maybe put in the back and Maybe slap on the door panels or something. Everything but the seats. I don't know. We'll see. Waiting on some trim black for the side moldings. We're going to get them put on. I do not have the fender ones at all. We have to get those. K28-2. We're going to match it with a RSX. Or no, not RSX. A EP3 5-speed transmission. We have a throttle body we're going to be putting on here. Deleting a lot of the heater core stuff. Simplifying some of this. And... We have a few rail we need to put on, AC power steering delete. So we got a little bit of, we need to do this. I need to give it a good washing. Um, and that's about it. So nothing too crazy. Oh, we need to put the alternator on, which is over here somewhere in this pile of stuff. Alrighty, alternator. Whoa. Thought it was in here. Maybe it's in the box. That's all the seat belts. It's throttle body. Ah, oh, there it is. Alternator's right there with the charge harness. We still have to do some making on a charge harness. Um, a lot of the fuse box and stuff's inside. We still have to pull this harness inside for as well. Um, and that's about it. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Of course, back together for the most part. Oops. And, um, again, this GSR 5-speed, LS 5-speed, I figured out what's wrong with the locked-up transmission. It was a little, uh, bearing right there, the input shaft bearing, uh, which is, you know, sits here. Uh, but yeah, this is took it apart for now. Get it fixed, put it together, put it on the shelf. That's got a hole in the case. I'm gonna take it apart, figure out why it's got a hole in the case. See right there, obviously. Um, if nothing caused it besides thinking the clutch went bad because it was noticed when the clutch was pulled. Um, we will get that welded up actually. So we're not gonna replace the case, which can get it welded up and just check through everything, uh, rebuild what's necessary, or go ahead and put in a full synchro kit. Either way, that's a GSR. We have another GSR which is for the technically for that car, but any of them can go to it. Uh, there is another one sitting under there. So that's about it for this painting of the Civic video. Again, this is just a single stage. This is a restoration shop uh, made from TCP Global, I believe. In case anybody wants to copy the color, that's what you need right there. Being said, <laughs> I'm out. Stay tuned for the case walk. All right, we found some clean bolts. This back in, we gave it a little bit of a refresh coat because it was kind of rusty. Um, so we got some nice bolts there. Still kind of unwrapping. Um, gonna suck the harness into the firewall here in a minute. Um, trash. And we're gonna kind of lay that a little bit lower. Kind of tuck that in. We'll get a cleaning on all that. Let it clean up real good. We'll probably go ahead and get it off of these dollies. And um, I think I'm going to call it a night. But it's coming together. The uh, trim blacks probably going to be here in a little bit. I'll probably go ahead and spray those before I go to bed so I can dry overnight. And I can put them on tomorrow after work. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and order one of these tonight. Uh, maybe see if I can find like a three pack or something. Because I'm sure uh, Integra, Integra, and Civic, all three could use one. And... Uh, that's that. 
I have the conversion harness there too. I might mess with that a little bit before I go to bed as well. Get that kind of taken care of. It's real easy. Um, and the only thing really left to do inside would be the, the shifter box. So we'll probably get that done. And then we'll uh, hopefully real quickly we can get the motor going good. Transmission mated. And get it dropped in there. Obviously still got to do the mounts. But that's no biggie. So. Uh, it's been an eventful two days. Got a lot done. As you can tell, went from a primary stage to a somewhat car game. So uh, I'm going to let it cure for about a week or two. And uh, we'll get into the wet sanding and stuff like that. I'm out. Back again. A little bit of progress. We have down there. It's all black. We have these in black. They're drying. These are the, again, side moldings. So I'm pretty much at a standstill. We have those put in. We now have the window trim put in. T tape off all the little things. Um, again, we still got to do all that. We talked about that last clip. So not too much. We haven't done that yet. I want to pressure wash that whole entire motor before I go putting on these shiny parts. So tomorrow is lots of cleanup. I want to pressure wash the floor. Yada, 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 yada. So nothing too crazy. They're both in here. And we're making progress. 2022 is definitely the year for the Civic to be gone. Um, and obviously it's the start of the track car. I don't know if I'm going to make the track car in time for the 2022 season. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if you got to run it from start to finish or uh, anything like that. But um, it is coming, hopefully, uh, for 2022. Um, even if it is a little bit further in the season. Um, it'd be good to get some tests. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, we'll be getting this thing out of here soon. Accord, it needs a motor. We have the Accord to do. And uh, a few small things on there to maybe fix up. So, I'm not sure what order we're going to do it in. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and do the Accord since it's a quick, easy motor. And then we'll hop on the uh, back on the other Integra, the Track Integra. And uh, we'll probably let this car go to its new home once the time comes. And eventually we'll get to making this thing real pretty in the engine bay. We have lots of things for it. Just no time. It's kind of on the back burner right now. Um, in the wreck I discovered there's some bushing and racks and a lot of other little things messed up from it. Uh, so it's going to be a minute I'm just going to kind of cruise it around town, and that's about it. Um, the bay be, once the bay's done and a lot of the suspension's redone, again, it's all brand freaking new. Uh, we'll be ready to put it on the dyno and, and beef up some of the things that we have for it. I have everything for it, it's just I have to put it in. Um, but video ain't about all that. The video is about this. Finally, some paint, guys. Garage is a mess, but the car is painted. Again, side moldings are drying. Don't make fun of my shoes. These are painting shoes and messing up stuff because obviously I did paint them. Uh, yep. Yeah. But anyways, we do have the headlights over there. I'm not going in yet. Like I said, the front end, or at least at least very minimal. The bumper is coming back off, and uh, that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna paint match the lip like I was wanting to. I think I'm just going to make it black for now. Leave that up to the next owner. I'm going to be letting the next owner have that in case they want to do a new hood because this hood is not perfect. Um, that fender there is obviously it's not perfect either. So in case they wanted to do you know new panels, take it easily. Just match it. Go. It's Anybody can paint that. They could you know paint match that or they could paint match these. Uh, I do recommend doing one of those at some point because them like I said, the previous person just lack of knowledge. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So, yeah, that's the video. It looks painted, guys. Um, next is, I guess, motor cleanup, motor assembly stuff, accessories. And then we're going to make the trans. And then we'll also probably do the wiring harness and the mounts in that video. And a little bit of cleaning up on the engine bay. Um... 
and that probably be the next video we'll see i have another video that i haven't released that's should technically come out before this one but i kind of want to go and throw this one up as the new year's thing <laughs> um so we'll see and um i guess that's it guys i don't got no other updates um a lot of the rubbers are on which i don't think i think i'm gonna show um a lot of the, these little rubbers and stuff are on now. And uh, this one's on. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to call it a night. It's about 11.30 now. And I said we're going to get showered. And it's going to be late for getting to bed. And work in the morning comes early. So on the next one.